Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also mail us at info at the rate jcbrolabs.org. So this is uh, again a project uh, demonstration video, and in this uh, in this project video, we are going to talk about a very important part of the control system that is physiological control system. Okay, so in this uh, project, uh, we will be showing you how to uh, uh, like uh, PID controller based uh, blood glucose control system. Okay, so in this case, what happens if uh, there is a patient and if he eats something, so the insulin has to be injected into the blood stream. So that has to be done automatically. So the PID controller has been designed so that uh, the blood glucose level remains in a within a control level or it should reduce to the desired level within a specific uh, amount of a time. So this particular project comes under the category of physiological control system and you may find uh, several papers uh, based on that. For example, this one performance, this was the fuzzy PID control we have created the same model uh, similar model with the help of a PID controller and the similar graphs have been represented so these graphs shows when the sh uh, food has been taken or the sugar level has increased and then that gradually decreases with the help of uh, providing the insulin into it so that the glucose level remain within the control so these are the several papers from which we have taken the reference uh, this is one of the uh, MPC based uh, glucose level control. The model which we are going to uh, demonstrate to you is this. This is the model which we have created for uh, uh, this PID based blood glucose control. So here is a model of a patient. Uh, it has been represented in a form of an S function. And then uh, here we have our controller right here we have applied this lower limit and upper limit so all this done is to show the graph okay so uh, the optimization of this PID controller is being done with the help of a genetic algorithm right so we have already optimized the system uh, for once and in order to show you the result okay so we are showing uh, we are running it for uh, 24 seconds uh, no it will be in 24 hours and then okay let's simply run it the result and you will observe the final output okay so it is running so you can see this is the green line which is the patient as function which is increasing or decreasing and it is being increased and then decreased by after insulin has been injected uh, through the PID controller so PID controller is being active activated okay and that okay so now uh, we can also show you there is a graph uh, uh, which you can just run and all the plots uh, will be plotted here so this is the amount of the insulin injection at which instant so whenever a patient has taken some uh, food uh, or consumed her some food uh, as soon as the insulin has been started uh, uh, has been started injecting so this is a kind of the response so this is a sluggish response is there because we optimize the PID controller for uh, 10 iteration only okay because it is a heavy heavy program so it takes a lot of time so in order to avoid uh, the different scenarios we have run the simulation just for a small fraction of time okay so this is clearly shows the response and uh, the response glucose level comes within at a desired set value within two to three hours okay and here is our optimization file which we have created so you just have to run this file and then the entire optimization will start working so I will show you uh, so all those things I have shown like how the results are there and I will show you how this thing how this program is working further okay, so let's run it here it is so you see uh, the optimization has started and it is compiling the model and it will keep on running the model for different different values so uh, yeah you know uh, during the optimization this different value <laughs> will occur yeah uh, if you uh, close this uh, window and close the model the optimization will run more faster but uh, I keep it open just to demonstrate to you that the optimization code which we will provide if you need 
uh, is working uh, condition okay and here it is yeah so yeah you can see different different values are obtaining so obviously these are not desirable so genetic algorithm is trying to get the final va values of the kpk and kd so that it can be sustained in an efficient manner okay so let's uh, wait it out and let's see for some values for it okay now you look here so this is the PID controller with different response. So GA is trying to settle down the PID controller. Okay, it's completely off these values. So once, uh, uh, as I said, we are running the optimization for 10 iteration with 50 population size, you can run it for very whatever values you want. So it uh, one, once the optimization is completely finished, at the end of the optimization, you will get the final desired value. So all these are the intermediate value which will not be used. Okay, so I hope this is the demonstration and uh, you must have liked it. So if you have liked it, you can and like and subscribe to our channel as well if you have any doubt or any queries you can let us know by commenting below this video and if you need these project files then please send us a mail at uh, info at the rate jcbrlabs.org or if you want similar kind of work to be done then you can contact us through our website uh, which is www.jcbrlabs.org or you can also mail us at info at jcbrlabs.org so uh, Finally, we also provide online training, we also do industrial and freelance projects based on data science, Python, machine learning, embedded system, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by, com by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrlabs.org, or you can also mail us at info at So that's it for this video. Thank you.